educational and entertainment purposes only. Don't do anything discussed in this video. None of this is advice. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, and I do not promote the use of anything discussed in this video. Okay, what's up guys? This is Dan from bodybuilderinthailand.com. I just recently did a Prima Volan cycle, and uh, I'm gonna talk about what Prima Volan is and uh, what it does for me, what it did for me, my experience with it. Because uh, there's not really, well there's a lot of conflicting information out there, okay? So what I did was, I ran 350 milligrams of testosterone with it, and I ran 1,000 milligrams of Prima Volan with it, and that's per week. So that was my cycle, and so basically Prima Volan is like the most expensive, basically, you know, anabolic. And uh, the reason for that is because it gives gains really without any side effects, and that was definitely my experience with it. Uh, it took about four weeks for it to kick in. I really didn't feel much with it. Even uh, I started the first four weeks at 700 milligrams per week, and then I felt it kick in, and then I moved it up to 1,000. Uh, so yeah, it took a good four weeks to kick in. Sorry, I had to move. Got to do my cardio. So. Primo Boland is not that strong, not very strong. It's, it's like moder moderate to weak, right? But it has a reputation for being that and D-Ball, being Arnold Schwarzenegger's favorite steroids from back in the day. And you think, well, why would a uh, like moderate weak steroid be Arnold's favorite? Well, you know what? This stuff is called Primo for a reason, okay? It's not cost effective. It's not cost effective. And that's part of, you know, why? Like, it doesn't give you a lot of bang for your buck. But what it does give you, what it gives me, this is my experiences, is zero side effects. Zero. At 1,000 milligrams per week. What a, estrogen. Primo Bullen does not convert to estrogen. It also does not convert to prolactin or progesterone. So it's only an androgen, it's only a male hormone, and it can't convert to anything else. So you're not going to have water retention, not going to have gyno, you're going to have a good sex drive, it's not going to get screwed up from prolactin. And with all of that, it's not like you even need an anti-estrogen or anything because it can't convert to estrogen. So that's like really nice. And then the fact that it's an injectable and it's not liver toxic, so it doesn't convert to estrogen, doesn't convert to progesterone or prolactin, and it's not liver toxic because it's an injectable. And, uh, you know, so anyways, if you can, what I did was, uh, you know, I, I knew it would be not cost effective and expensive, so, but I uh, wanted to see, you know, what it would do, and it's actually become my favorite uh, anabolic now uh, because it just, it works really, really well. And basically, so, remember I was using 350 milligrams test per week, and I was using that with 1,000 milligrams of Prima Volan per week. And I'm telling you, the pumps and strength that I would get from this was after that fourth week. You know, once the fifth week came through, it's like the same as like being on like an oral, like, like D-ball or, or like a, a Winstrol or, or you know like a high test dose or something or yeah like I mean I even want to say trend like it really like my performance in the gym and my strength were very high like uh, you know feeling like wow I'm stronger than usual right on that cycle and like I said I had no side effects uh, the only side effect that I had was I did take too much aromatase inhibitor while I was doing the cycle, and uh, it crashed my estrogen. So I was very tired from having no estrogen for about three days, and uh, my sex drive was screwed up from that. And the reason I was, it was estrogen from the testosterone, right? The 350 milligrams of testosterone, not the Primo Bullen. Um, and then uh, I did get a few pimples too. So I, I usually don't really get any acne, but uh, on this cycle, 
I did, and I'm guessing that's because it was a thousand milligrams. But the thing is, is that, uh, you know, it, it didn't feel toxic at all either. Like I felt really good, really healthy, strong, not run down, you know, not high blood pressure, uh, just all around good. And I feel like, uh, you know, if a person can afford it, it seems to be like ideal, basically because it's like, what do you want? Like out of, uh, you know, a muscle building compound, you know? You want something that's clean, it doesn't weigh you down, it doesn't have side effects, it doesn't screw up your athletic performance. It gives you great performance in the gym, great pumps, good strength. And then, uh, you know, it prevents catabolism, and uh, which it does very well. It, uh, Primo Bolin is very good at nitrogen retention, so protein does not leave the body. It's recycled in the body. It's very good for preserving muscle tissue. And then it's also good for building muscle tissue, anabolic. And another reason why people will say it's not strong is because it doesn't add any water to you at all. So even though you do uh, get these strength increases and stuff, uh, the mass buildup is very slow. Because, you know, a lot of compounds, when you take them, you know, they blow your muscle up with uh, carbohydrate storage and water storage, fuel, and they make them big and round, right? Primo Bolin doesn't do that. Primo Bolin, it's just like slow gains that happen over time, like the same way that like natural gains would look, like where they don't like blow up. It, I mean, obviously it's quicker than natural, but it's, it's like a, it's just the muscle tissue growing, right? It's not like the muscle tissue getting loaded up with fuel and water and all this stuff. So it's, it's definitely not a faker, right? It's not one of these things where you take it and you blow up and you come off and it all goes away. Um, yeah, and it's really good because, I mean, really, I don't want to use really anything. You know, it's so annoying having to deal with side effects, having to deal with your sex drive going up and down, or using Trenbolone because, like, yeah, everybody uses it because it's strong and it's effective, but, man, everyone knows that that's... It's not fun. It may be fun from a certain pers perspective or certain people, but that's usually from people that are immature or not experienced. There are exceptions. There are exceptions. I'm not using that as a blanket statement. Anyways, though, I've heard a lot of people say, um, not a lot of people, I've heard some very reputable people say that Tren is the poor man's primo bullet. Um, and actually, from what Coach Trevor at uh, Enhanced Athlete has said, and I need to see the study for this personally because I'm very interested, but Primo Bolin retains nitrogen and is more muscle sparing than Trembolone, meaning that if you're on a diet and muscle tissue being eaten by your body for fuel, Primo Bolin is like the number one at preventing that from happening, even more than trend. So, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And uh, I'm really glad that I found it. Uh, but let me tell you guys again that it's not strong, right? <laughs> like, you know, like if I was running, you know, 100 milligrams every other day, you know, 300, 350 milligrams a week, I don't think that would have done shit. Would have done a little bit. Probably would have been a little bit. A little booster. All right, guys. This is Dan from bodybuilderinthailand.com. Uh, go to bodybuilderinthailand.com. Learn the truth about bodybuilding and take the bodybuilding red pill. My experience is from uh, 10 years in this. Okay, so since Primo Bolin is expensive it's the most expensive anabolic and uh it's not strong it's like moderate to weak you know uh but it's the most expensive you know why would i want to run that uh and basically the reason why would i want to run that instead of like something like trembling or something right that's way stronger and it costs less is because i don't like side effects i hate side effects 
and I was able to feel using Primobolin at a high dose the same good effects that I get from those really strong stuff like Tren or D-Ball or something. So we get that same feeling, that same effect with metabolizing food, that same effect in the gym, not the same look, not the same, it just wasn't as heavy, you know? I mean, that was basically it. Like the, the effects of the Primo Woolen were more limited to my athletic activities. Uh, but I still was able to, with getting no side effects, still use something that was strong enough to give me those good effects of still being able to get the effects of those really strong antigens.